Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. In this video, we will look at some more examples on floating point representation. Now, let us convert this number into IEEE 754 floating point representation. First of all, let con let's convert this binary, this decimal number into binary number. First of all, we will convert 21 into binary. We can convert 21 as writing the weights 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 21 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is 21 and 0.75 is 0 0.75 into 2 gives 1.5 and we consider the integer value 0 0.5 into 2 is 1.0 we consider the integer value and 0, 0.0 times 2 is 0 so this is the binary equivalent of 0 0.75 now 21.75 base 10 equals 1010.11 1 base 2 but we have to convert this number into normalized form what is a normalized form before the binary point we must have only one digit and that should be a one so we shift these uh, all these bits to the right side of binary point by multiplying by 2 so 1.010111 1 into 2 power for shifting one bit towards right side the binary point we add, we multiply by 2 for shifting 1 2 3 4 bits we multiply by 2 power 4 so this is the normalized form of this binary fraction value now let us con convert it the convert this value into ieee notation first write the notation which is minus 1 power s into 1 point fraction into 2 power exponent minus 127 127 is the bias in order to avoid confusion between this exponent value and the exponent here it is always better to write the notation in an equivalent form which is minus 1 into 1 point fraction into 2 power e now this value is e and this value is exponent we can always convert we can always know one value if we know the other value if we know the exponent value we can know the e value if we know the e value we can know the exponent value so what do we know here we know the e value how to get the exponent value equating this this with this we get the exponent value so exponent minus 127 equals e exponent equals 4 plus 127 which is 131 in base 10 we have to convert this 131 into binary as by writing the weights 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Let's put a 1 here. What? How much is remaining? 131 minus 128 is 3. So we are in need of 3. 1, 1 and remaining all are zeros. So this is our exponent value. This is exponent value which is to be stored here. Now let us write what is the sign value. Since this is a positive number, sign is 0. What is fraction? Fraction is this part is fraction we don't consider this value this is always implicitly assumed 0 1 0 1 1 1 now let's fill up the 32 bit word 
sine bit is 0, fraction is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and remaining are zeros. Now the exponent value is 1, 0, we have to write this value, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now this is the required floating point number equivalent for this decimal value. Now let us consider one more example. Let us try to convert this decimal value into floating point number. First convert this number into binary as 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. The number is, let us write a 1 here, 46 minus 32 is 14, we are in need of 14 still, 8, 4, 2 is 14 and the remaining are zeros. So this is equivalent to 46 base 10 and let us convert um, 0.5 to binary. 0.5 times 2 equals 1.0 we consider the integer value next 0.0, .0 times 2 is 0 so this is so this is 0.5 value in binary this is 0.5 value now 46.5 base 10 equals 1 0 1 1 1 0 point 1 0 in base 2 now let us normalize this number 1 point 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 into how many number how many digits we are pushing towards the uh, towards the binary point 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 power 5 now let us find the exponent value first of all write this notation minus 1 power s into 1 point fraction into 2 power exponent minus 127 let's write the equivalent uh, expression also minus 1 power s into 1 point fraction into 2 power e. Now let us calculate the exponent value exponent minus 127 equals e which means equating this and this. So exponent equals 5 plus 127 which is nothing but 132 in base 10. So converting this 132 in base 10 to binary 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 this is 1 and the remaining is 4 1, 0, 0, 0 0 0 0 so this is the exponent value that we need to store in the word and what is the sine bit sine bit is 0 since it is a positive number and fraction is what is after the binary point 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 this is fraction we got the sine bit we got the fraction and as well as the exponent now let's just fill up the table this is 0 fraction is 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 and the remaining are all zeros now the exponent value is 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so this is the required IEEE representation of this number.
now let us move to the another example in this example we will convert in the reverse direction that is from floating point representation to real value in decimal representation so let us start by writing the notation minus 1 power s into 1 point fraction into 2 power exponent mi exponent minus 127 let's write the equivalent form as well see i am writing the equivalent form just to avoid the confusion between this exponent and the exponent uh, which is a power of 2 if you are clear with the concept then you can write only this form or in some cases you can do it within your mind as well so for now let's write the equivalent form as well minus 1 power s times 1 point fraction into 2 power e so now the s value is 1 which means this is a negative number and fraction is this is the fraction starting from here this is the fraction 1 0 1 0 0 and all are zeros now let us find the e value we are having the exponent value we have to find the e value in the previous example we were having the e value and we found exponent value now the case is reverse we have the exponent value we have to find the e value so the this is the exponent value what is this number in decimal this is a 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so this this value equals 128 plus 2 plus 1 which is 131 base 10 we have got the exponent value exponent value is 131 we have we, we need to equate this number with this so exponent minus 127 equals e e is 131 minus 127 which is 4 in decimal now the value is minus 1 power s what is s s is 1 into 1 point fraction what is fraction this is fraction since all these are zeros i am writing only first three digits 101 into 2 power e okay 2 power e what is e value 4 this is minus 1.101 into 2 power 4 since this is a 2 power 4 we can shift 4 digits towards the left of binary point that is minus 1101 1, 1. we have shifted only 3 values so one more zero comes 0. 0.0 this is the binary value of this representation now let us con convert that into decimal this is a 1 this is 2 4 8 16 16 plus 8 is 24 24 plus 2 is 26 now this is minus 26 point 0 in base 10 this is the desired result of this representation now let us move to another example let us convert this floating point representation into decimal value let's write the notation minus 1 power s into 1 point fraction into 2 power exponent minus 127 the equivalent notation is minus 1 power s into 1 point fraction into 2 power e now let's start by writing each unknown 
s is 1 it is here and fraction is 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 and all are zeros now let us calculate the e value we have the exponent value so we have to calculate the e value before that let us convert this value into decimal this is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 we have one at only 64 bit position so this value is 64 now we have got the exponent value as 64 so e equals exponent minus 127 e equals 64 minus 127 which is minus 63 this is the e value so let us write the number minus 1 power s what is s is 1 into 1 point fraction is 1 1 1 0 0 0 into 2 power minus 63 which is minus 1.111000 into 2 power minus 63 this is a very small number because it, the power is minus 63 so we have to move 63 digits before the binary digit towards the right which means if we, we have 63 digits before this binary point and 63rd digit as 1 we have to move all these digits towards the right of the binary point then we can find the equivalent decimal value so in this case it is not possible to find the decimal value i am leaving the answer as it is now the assignment for you guys is try to convert this into floating point representation and check whether you are getting the same answer or not this value you are getting or not and convert this number into by a decimal representation and check whether you are getting 46.5 or not and convert this number as well into by into decimal to check you are getting 21.75 or not so that's all for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed see you next time until then, happy learning.